the Lord. Wonderful people of God, shout hallelujah. I give me great pleasure to be here on this program again, Evangelica Drama Today. Uh, my name is Toi Fatusi, and I'm speaking live from the Netherlands, and I'm bringing the word of God to us uh, um, through a teaching, a drama teaching. This is for the benefit of our sisters who are in faraway countries who wants to know about evangelical drama but could not travel down for our seminars and training. And uh, the Lord gave us this opportunity to reach out to God's people. So that's what we are doing. Uh, the last edition, two weeks, the first edition was two weeks ago. And we talked about uh, the, um, the, uh, the biblical purpose of evangelical drama. We checked through the scripture whether drama is in the Bible or not. And we could see through the scriptures that drama is in the Bible. My prayer is that the Lord will bless you today as we have this um, seminar uh, discussion together in the mighty name of Jesus. And I also want to use this opportunity to say to us that if you have any question regarding Christian drama or evangelical movie, you can always send us an email or you can uh, uh, fill a contact form on our website www.overcomersdramaero.com so that uh, we can answer the question or if there is a question or if there is a topic you would like us to treat on evangelical drama, and you can uh, reach out to us and we can discuss it. We are available, you know, for God to use us. And we believe that this program will be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. We also want to have a feedback from you, to hear from you if you are being blessed by this program or not. The Lord bless you real good in Jesus' name. Um, this week, uh, from the 13th to 15th, is our basic film workshop and i tell you this is the last one we're going to be having for the year 2015 and particularly the last one you know for this year in europe so uh if i were you i will make sure i'm part of this um uh, uh, this uh, this weekend this coming weekend drama and film workshop you can still be part of it you can still uh register to be there if you are a resident of a schengen country you don't need a visa to get into netherlands and you know, if you're a British passport holder, you don't need a visa, you know, to also come into uh, a Netherlands as well. You can reach out to us and the Lord will bless us real good in Jesus' name. I believe the Lord Almighty will bless us tonight in Jesus' name. Let's just say a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to share together and discuss today on what you are using evangelical drama to do today. Father, I pray the Lord you yourself you will teach us, you will open our eyes. I will be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. So today I'm going to be talking about receiving drama messages from the Lord. How to receive drama messages from the Lord. You know, two weeks ago we established the fact that evangelical drama is a tool of God, is a weapon that the Lord is using at the same time. It's a pity that particular episode was not recorded. I thought I pressed with, uh, say, <clears throat> after the live transmission, but I didn't know I didn't press save. So that, was, that is why that particular episode is not on here. But notwithstanding, I believe God is going to bless us today. So we talked about evangelical drama as having its roots in the word of God. Being, you know, showing us an example that our Lord Jesus Christ himself acted. He uttered the story of redemption. He took the form of a servant, even though he was not a servant. And he came down with a message. You know, that is the message of redemption. Message, a message, you know, that, you know, Christ loves us and he has died for us, you know, and he died for us. And that he wants us, you know, to come to the saving knowledge of Christ. Praise the Lord. So the Lord is going, the Lord himself, our Lord Jesus Christ is an actor. And he acted for us. But what made his own drama real was, it was more than a drama. It was real. Like I said two weeks ago, that drama is make believe. Film is make believe. It's not real. But our Lord Jesus Christ, he acted a real drama. He actually died on stage and he rose up. You know, reconciling us back to the, you know, to God. And that is why Jesus is the reason why we can talk about evangelical drama today. <coughs> we can talk about drama, you know, to bring people to the saving knowledge of Christ. Praise the Lord. So we're going to be talking about receiving a drama message. Now, every drama or every movie that is going to make impact, that is going to, you know, to be evangelical in nature. Evangelical in the sense that, you know, it brings souls to Christ. It calls back, you know, you know backsliders bring revival, point us back, you know, illuminate, correct, must be from the Lord. So if a message is going to, you know, do this evangelist, evangelical work, then the message must be received from the Lord himself. 
It must be from the Lord. Now, there are two things. We have the message, we have the script, but I'm going to be talking about the message today. The message, you know, that is the point. The, the, you know, the, the message, when they said, what is the message in that movie? You know, take for example, if you have watched our movie, um, Mighty Hand. What is the message in Mighty Hand? You know, it's, uh, the message is different from the plot here. There was a woman who had this, who had that, you know. That's the story. What the message, what the points, you know, that we want to bring out is that the mighty hand of God can save and can set free and, you know, can, uh, can break, you know, can put us under every powers of the enemy. So, for us, you know, to get the message, so for, for, for a movie or a drama to come up, there must be a central message which must be received from God. So just like our pastors wait on God to receive messages that they will teach us or they will preach in services on Sunday or they will preach in, you know, during program. We also, as drama ministers, as drama vessels, we must wait on the Lord to receive his mind, you know, for his people. The messages of God don't die. The word of God don't die. And that's, you know, it lives on forevermore. We've been reading the scripture for the past many years and, you know, it will remain the same. It will never change. That's why the Bible says that heaven and earth may pass away, but not a dot of my word will go home fulfilled. So the messages in evangelical drama don't die. It, it, it's, it's not for a particular time only. It is living. Yeah, events may change. Storyline may change. But the messages don't die. Praise the Lord. So there are no rules on how to how and where to receive a drama message. It depends on, you know, on individual relationship with God. You know, as just said in the book of Daniel chapter 11 verse 13, 23, B says, you know, that those who know their God, they shall be strong, they shall do, you know, they shall do excellent. So there are no particular rules. There, there are no particular rules. There are no standards, okay, you must sit down here, you must stand up here, you know, before God can speak to you. God can speak and give you a message for a movie or for a drama anywhere. For me, it can be anywhere. It can be when I'm studying the Bible or when I'm walking in the street or maybe when I'm busy in the kitchen, or maybe something happened, or maybe I heard a conversation and the Lord would drop a message. God can speak to us through anything. So the basis, you know, the, you know the, the, the foundation of any Christian movie that will make impact, that will live, you know, and outlive the writer, it starts from the message. And there is no message that can outlive us, that can go on, that, you know, that is, that, that is without God. So the source is from God. That's why the Bible says that all scriptures are given by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. So if a message, a drama message is going to outlive you and is going to make impact and cut across situations and life, then it must be from the Holy Spirit. So those who know God will get to know his mind and the message of the season. There are some messages that it is for a season. There are some messages that is for a reason. There are some messages that you know that is for a lifetime. There are some messages that is for eternity. You know, it will continue and continue and continue and continue. Like now, maybe during Christmas season, you want to have a drama and God give you a message, you know, about, about, about the birth of Jesus, you know, a seasonal message, you know, and such drama can be acted, you know, during Christmas or, you know, season. But there are messages, you know, that from a particular set of people. But the most important thing is that the word of God will come to you you know, uh, in, in, in a dynamic way, you know, and there is no rule to it that until you stay in a room or until you go to the mountaintop. Yes, some people, when they want to receive messages from the Lord, maybe they want to write a book or something, they can go to a place and sit there for seven days and, you know, like that, and God can speak. I'm not that kind of person. I don't think I can sit down, you know, to, in a place for seven days, you know, to sit down like that, but I can sit down and receive a message. You know, God can drop something into my heart and I can pray over it and walk over it, you know, um, over time. Now, let me say this to us, that every drama message is a true life story of a past, of a present, and of a future event. So every drama message, every film, every message you watch in a movie, oh, that message in that movie was just for me. That story is just about my life. It is because they are true life story. It is for the present. It's happening presently. It's, you know, it has happened before and it will still happen. That is why, you know, people find it very easy to identify with drama, you know, because it talks about what has been, what it is and what, will, you know, will be in the future. You understand? Maybe your own lifespan, maybe you're just 30 years old or 40 years old or 20 years old, you know, 
for a child, for a, for a sister or a brother who is 20 years old, you don't have many, you don't have knowledge of the past. Even if you are 70 years old, you don't have much knowledge of the past. But we have a God who knows about everything, all things. He, you know, is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. So for us to have a message that will cut across the past, the present and into the future, we can only get it from the ancient of day, the ancient of day, day himself, the king of kings and the lord of love. You know, the lord that never grows old is the ancient of day. The, you know, he's the ancient of days, you know, so he's, he, he's ever constant, ever stable. He knows what has happened before, he knows what is happening presently, and he knows what it's in the future. So drama messages, you know, are revelations of the mind of God. Just like, you know, you read the same John 3, 16, that you read is the same one I read, but the revelation that the Lord will give unto us differs from each other. Maybe the Lord say, hey, to me, you know, I give me an insight, or maybe the insight I get into John 3, 16 might be different from what you get into it. So, you know, it is the word of God. We can never exhaust the word of God. We can never, never exhaust it. So what I'm trying to say is that any drama message that will outlive you must be gotten from God because God knows the past, God knows the present, and he knows the future. So for you to be able to write a drama message that will touch life, that will impact life, then your relationship with God is very, 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 very important. If your relationship with God is just to say, hey, hi, God, how are you doing? Please, I need, I need, I need $10 today. Just provide it for me. And then, you know, that's, that's your relationship with God. That's the kind of message you get, you know. So there are different drama messages. But if it's your relationship with God, is the one that you will go before him and stay in his presence and wait on him. Let me tell you something. It will give you deep revelational messages. Deep revelation. The Bible says that the secret things belong to our God. So for a drama message to be able to cut across life, and people can identify today and say, this is about my life. This is about it. You know, it is not what a human mind can, you know, can, you know, can, can, you know, can conceive. When I was growing up as a young child, I, I love reading a lot. I read so many books. I can finish one novel, you know, maybe 300 pages or so in a, in a few days. I love reading. But ask me, those stories I read, eh? you know, can I remember them now? No. You know, they are fictions. They are things, you know, imagination and everything like that. What is the message in the story, in the, in the book? I may not remember. You understand what it is. But tell me, if I watch an evangelical drama, that the message is received from the Lord. There is no way you will feel the hand of God in it. Well, now, let me say this to you. A message, a Christian drama that bless me may not bless you. Because... Christian drama has, you know, has its own audience. As a need, it, it, you know, it is fulfilling, you understand. As a need, you know, for, for, you know, for everyone. So I say that every, mess, every drama message, every drama has a message. But the depth of the message can only be determined by God. And the need it is fulfilling, you know, it's for, it's for a certain set of people. So the Lord doesn't just send forth his word. He sent forth his word for a purpose. He sent forth his word, you know, for a reason. For a particular set of people for now or for the future so when we're talking about the message and say like um, the message must come to you first you must understand and apply it you know when, when, like maybe i'm doing my morning devotion now and during the morning devotion maybe a verse of the scripture just come to my mind straight like that before i can preach this message before i can put it in a story or in a script i must understand it first you know, the word of God must come to you first as the writer. The word of God, you must apply it to your life. So it is not just about writing the script and say, ah, damn, this movie we want to make or this drama we want to stage. You want to deal with some certain set of people. See, the drama itself must minister to you yourself. If the drama message is not ministering to you yourself, I doubt if it will minister to other people. Yeah, maybe people might see your acting skill. They may see your good, you know, good grammar. You know, you speak good English. They may see the beautiful locations you use. They might see the other things. But beyond the accent, beyond the equipment, beyond, you know, the, the, the beautiful locations, beyond the technicalities, there is a message. For a Christian drama, the message is the most important. It is the foundation upon which you build every other thing. Because if there is no message, if there is no message we see from the Lord, conceive from the Lord, even if you spend millions on it, you understand, people will just watch it and say, oh, yeah, good, you know, good story, and that's the end of it. Oh, good picture, that's the end of it. We all go to the cinema, you know, we all sometimes go to the cinema, at least when I was younger, I go to the cinema, I watch movie in the cinema, 
you understand, and you see picture, and you see story, and that is it. But for evangelical drama to fulfill the purpose for which it is sent, or that is, you know, to minister to the spirit, soul, and body, to minister to the, your heart, it must be from the Lord. So evangelical drama or thing that will make impact is beyond story. It's not about story. It's about the message, the content. So the word of God must come to you first and uh, you must apply it to your life. You must be the first partaker of the message. So let the message minister to you first, just like, you know, we write in the, we say in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 6, let the drama message minister to you first. There is none of our movies that, to the glory of the Lord, that the Lord has helped me to produce so far or to direct so far, that I don't first sit down and, you know, pray about it, pray it in into my life first and check out my life. You understand? There is no way, you know, that you will watch a movie that you will not see something that applies to your life in it. If that message, you know, is, you know, is conceived from the Lord. Yeah, you might not be looking for a husband. Maybe he's talking about his sister looking for a husband. You might not be looking for a husband, but there is an aspect of the movie too that can minister to you. Like a sister told us, you know, recently, uh, after watching Mighty Hand, she said, you know, she was so blessed with the movie, but the aspect that ministered to her was just those phrases, you know, those little words that the, that the sister, the Ebunua, was saying to the Bikiness that, you know, that she, she didn't forgive the brother because, you know, she, she disappointed him. And that was what she could pick up from that movie was that message of forgiveness. So there is no way that you watch a Christian drama that you will not get a message from the Lord if the message, you know, if that movie is inspired by God himself. So that's why, you know, it is not just about, you know, getting up one day and just packing your bags together and saying, yeah, we want to make a movie, have a story, you know. Evangelical drama is not about story. It's about message. That is why drama ministers are known as evangelists. Because just like the pastors preach the word, we also act the word. And you cannot act the word if you don't receive the word. So you must receive the word from the Lord. And how can you receive the word from the Lord? You receive the word from the Lord when you are in tune with God. God cannot speak to you personally. You cannot receive, you know, a revelation of his mind as you're studying the scripture if you don't have any relationship with God. You cannot hear God speak to you as you go about your daily life if you don't have any relationship with God. So if you want to write a message, a drama that will make impact, that will minister to life, your life must be right with God. And you know our God is a holy God. He detests, you know, he hates sin. So sin must be held of your life. So we can, that message can come through revelation of the word of God as you are studying through, through in the word, as you are studying your Bible or maybe in the place of prayer or through events around you. Maybe you go out to say something or maybe events in time past that God might just bring back into your mind and you know and put a topic or put uh, a scripture you know and drop it into your heart with it you can also get it in a, in a place of prayer so and also sometimes <laughs> the message for a particular drama can come in the midst of chaos and confusion you know just like you know when elijah after he defeated you know the prophet of Baal and he slaughtered them and he was running away and he said oh god he was you know he was <laughs> he was discouraged he said, oh God, I'm the holy one alive, you know, all the other prophets are dead, and you know, and God took him through various stages. There was lightning, but God was not there. There was thunder, there was, God was not there, but God came in a still small voice, and God gave him that message. He gave him that last assignment. He said, okay, you are not the only one remaining. You are not the only one standing. Go and anoint Jehu, pick Elisha, you know, to replace you. He gave him that message even in the midst of chaos and confusion. So the word of God can come in the midst of chaos and confusion. So God can walk and speak in diverse ways. So as a drama minister, as a writer, who wants to write divine messages, you must recognize how God speaks to you per time and per season. So you must be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit at all time. Now, yeah, this is very important. Now, when the Lord drops his scripture into your heart, what do you do? When the Lord gives you a message, what do you do? Like this, our new movie that you know we are mixing together will be it will be it will be premiered this weekend. Search it out. The message came in the midst of chaos and confusion for me. It was at a time that I was down and um, things were not uh, working the way it ought to be. Praise the Lord. Sorry about that. But the Lord gave me that message in the midst of that time. 
and I wrote it down. So when the Lord gives you a message, when the Lord drops something to your heart, sometimes the Lord gives me messages by giving me the title first. And say, okay, write this title down. Well, the first thing, what do you do when you receive such like when you receive, you know, such, such messages from the Lord, or the Lord drop a scripture into your heart and say, I want you to, I want you to write on this thing. What do you do? You give thanks to God for his word and you receive it with gladness. Thank God for sending his word. Thank God for sending his word. I remember when I was when I was writing, when I was when I was to write the uh, Nigba Tekokushi, that is moment of darkness. I remember it was two, December season that time, preparing for the new year. During my personal retreat, the Lord gave me that scripture about the Lord Jesus Christ being on the cross. And, you know, and during the three hours of darkness, the Bible says that from the sixth hour to the ninth hour, there was total darkness. So when the Lord gave me that message, when, when that scripture came into my mind, without even knowing how the whole story will be, it came as a vast force. The first thing is to do to give thanks to God and, you know, write it down. The Bible says, write it down, make it plain, plain upon the, you know, upon the uh, upon the tablet that's my point number two what you do with you know with, with the message write it down Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 to 3 write down whatsoever God tells you and then number three things that you do the number three thing that you do after you receive the message pray for more insight Ephesians 6 you know you know um sorry about that pray for more insight ask God to give you revelation of his mind to give you deep understanding of that scripture don't just take the scripture out like that. Don't just take that information because some drama messages can come as a divine information. Maybe God, you know, you hear about something in your environment and the Lord, you know, strike your heart and say, this information that you have, it is for a movie. You understand? Don't just take it out like that and begin to heart. Pray, God, you know, pray for, you know, pray for more insight. Ask that the Lord will give you more insight, more revelation of his mind. You understand? It is not the day I receive a message. It is not that day that I write the script. Sometimes it might take weeks. And you know, other drama ministers and daddies and the Lord, the drama ministry can tell you, you know, can also, you know, shed more light on this and tell you that most drama messages that you see that you watch on YouTube and you are being blessed that have impacted your life so much, you are messages that were gotten in the presence of God and you are gotten in a hurry. You are days, you know, you have to, you know, pray for more insight. Oh God, you show me that, you know, between the sixth hour and the ninth hour, there was darkness. What is it that you want to do, O God? What are you saying, O God? What is it about moment of darkness? And as you pray, the Lord will give you more understanding because you must understand first. Especially if you are going to, you are going to be the one that will write the script. You must understand the message that the Lord is passing across to you. It must be clear with you. You understand? And you must be patient to wait on God to understand what God wants you to write. What God, you know, is showing you and how you want it to be. The message must be clear to you. So that maybe you are asking someone to write for you or anything. You know what you have received from the Lord and you must stick to it. So you get more insight in the place of prayer. Lift it up before God as you study the scripture. In fact, sometimes when I'm writing, I, you know, it's so funny that, you know, during those times, maybe my daily devotionals will talk about the similar thing, you know, will, will be relevant to what God has shown me. Not because I plan it, but I will just say that over the next couple of days or weeks, I will be getting more insight into it. Maybe, you know, God told me about darkness. Maybe in the next couple of days, you know, I'm reading about darkness, you know. Take your Bible. Read what does the Bible say about darkness. Pray. You have the Holy Spirit. As a child of God, ask the Holy Spirit to give you more insight. And I'll rush over the next few ones. And then we we'll continue in uh, next week Sunday on how to receive uh, the divine messages from the Lord, part two. So the number four thing that you do after you have prayed for insight. Gather information on that God. God is giving you about you know a message, you know, about holiness, about uh, rapture, about you know, um, about married couples, maybe you know, divorce, uh, giving you a message about giving to God. Gather information on that God. You understand? Read relevant information. Maybe you know somebody God is giving you, God gave you a message about someone who was sick, who has a chronic disease, and she was healed. You know, along the way, but she has been to the uh, hospital. Gather information or read more about it. Thank God, you know, for those of us living in the Western world, go on Google, write it out. You know, let me tell you one thing what we're doing, search it out. And the Lord gave me the core message. I'm not going to tell you much into it. You're going to watch the movie by the grace of God. You can order for the movie, you know, from, from July. It will be on DVD from July. We're dedicating it this weekend. What I did was that the core message in the movie, I went to Google and I put it on Google and I began to read. 
you know, about it. After searching through the scripture, you know, there was a, there was a particular thing that happened in the movie. I have to go on Google and say, okay, in the Western world, when this happened, what do we do? You know, in a contemporary world, when this happened, what do we do? And I realized that I got more information about it. You know, even I put the title there and God was, you know, I was reading article. There are some sites that they've already prepared messages there. Relevant to what God has shown you. Read them. You know, gather more information so that you'll be informed, you know, about what you want to write about. And of course, research as much God will get, permit you. Get facts and figure together. Let, us let all things be done in order. You know, just like 1 Corinthians 4 verse 10, 14 verse 10. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 10. And of course, after you must have done that, incorporate that message into a drama. Incorporate it into a drama. And then, you know, after you are, you are clear about the message now, then you incorporate it into a, How do you incorporate it into a drama? You know, you pray to God and God, you know, remind you of life issues or give you ideas of life issues. You know, that you can apply that message to. You know, the inspiration is from God. You understand? If God, God can inspire us, you know, and, you know, and even remind you, might even, it might even be something you have witnessed some times ago, and God will remind you that event, you know, to incorporate it into the drama, or give you a clear picture on its own, and say, okay, this is the scenario. Then you incorporate it into a drama, and then you write the script. Next time on this program, we will talk about script writing. So, like I have said, that, our anointed drama messages in summary. I put it in summary. The anointed drama messages, dra messages that will make impact, that will transform life. They are received, you know, through divine information, divine revelation, scriptural information, spiritual revelation. So receiving the message of a drama comes before script writing. So before you go ahead to write the script, you must receive the message. And the message must be clear to you. The Lord bless you real good in Jesus' name. Like I said at the beginning of this uh, talk, we'll be uh, uh, this weekend between June 13 to 15. It's the uh, basic film workshop holding here in Netherlands. And like I said, it's going to be the last one for this year, last one in this end for this particular time. So you must not miss it. The Lord bless you real good in Jesus' name. And if you look at my back, you see our new movies that are out there. I promise you, Lord. Mighty Hand, Life Choices. You can order through our website and order, and order um, drama teachings too through our website on www.overcomersdramahero.com I say it again, www.overcomersdramahero.com If you have a problem ordering it online, you can send us an email on overcomers96 at gmail.com The Lord Almighty will bless you, you know, as you order in Jesus' name. Don't just watch movies on YouTube. Support Evangelica Drama. And you can support by buying the DVDs. The Lord bless you real good in Jesus' name. Let's close our hands to pray. And, you know, and I want you to talk to God and ask God to give you the grace to wait on him to receive from him. If you're going to receive something from God, you must not be, you must not be impatient. You must be patient. You must be patient. I want us to pray that the Lord will give us the grace to wait on him, to receive on him in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you for this time. Blessed be your holy name. We receive grace, O oh God, Lord, to wait on you to receive, O oh God, drama messages that will make impact in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Father. As we go in the course of the week, go with us in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. I believe the Lord has blessed you. And please stay tuned to this channel, Overcomers Broadcast Outreach, and the Lord will bless you as you stay tuned in Jesus' name. Amen.